fight and give a little bit of gas guys here. Yeah, she's got some good power. Wow. Yeah, I'm not flooring it because always a Good afternoon, welcome back to Peter's Auto Vlog. This is Peter. Today we're gonna get behind the wheel of this newly updated 2025 Ford Explorer Platinum. Now so very excited to get behind the wheel as I see a train going by, but very excited to get behind the wheel of this newly updated and a mid-cycle refresh of this 2025 Ford Explorer. But before we go on, I wanna give a big shout out and a big thank you to Bartow Ford for allowing me some time with this Ford Explorer. Big thank you to my friend Tim, and I'm gonna put all their information and a link to their website in the description below. And ladies and gentlemen, here we have the newly updated 2025 Ford Explorer. This model that we have with us, it is the Platinum model, which is the very top of the trends for 2025, as Ford has basically eliminated the Timberline, the Limited, the XLT, the Hybrid, so even the King Ranch. So quite a bit of trims eliminated for 2025. And uh, for 2025, we only have basically the Active, ST line, ST, and then we have this Platinum. Now this Platinum model that we have with us here is just a rear wheel drive model, and this one's finished off in a gay black, which is really nice color, especially with the crystal gray interior trim. That we'll and for out. 2025, Ford has been done a kind of a bit tackle refresh to this Ford Explorer. We've really done a bit of changes to the front, a bit to the rear, the rear tail lights, and definitely an improvement to the interior design. So as you can see, guys, we got a little bit of different style headlight. As you can see, we got the LED turn signals and daytime running lights, a bit of a nice, Aluminum accent we have here, also your LED headlights. We got on the bottom here, we got LED fog lights and we have a little bit of our air curtain right there as well. That's functional. Down here we got a bit of aluminum trim. We got a little bit of a, of a flat black here with the sensors here. We got a front plate as you can see there. We also got the special uh, grill for this Platinum model. As you can see that we got also kind of a bit of a active grills here or grill shutters for this Explorers for 2025. We also got a front camera and we also got basically your front batch right there, which is kind of interesting that Ford did not use their new Ford logo. Uh, in this new Explorers. I don't know why they did that. They kind of still stay with the older, basically Chrome version of the Ford logo, but I don't know why they didn't use a new one. Uh, hopefully they'll update that in the near future. Uh, for this one here that we have also, there's a little bit difference here. We have no Explorer name here on the front of the hood. Usually the Active that I've done before and the ST line have the uh, Ford Explorer or the Explorer name right here, but this one does not have it. Kind of give it a little cleaner look to this front end, but I really like the way this one, especially in this AG Black really looks good with all this aluminum accents. Coming here to the side, we got your 21 inch wheel. That's basically the standard aluminum wheel in these platinum ones. You can see, guys, we got a 275 millimeter Pirelli Scorpion Zero tire that comes with this uh, Explorer, especially with this 21 inch wheel. It's a really beautiful looking aluminum wheel. Really goes well with the black exterior color of this one. You can see we got your wheel liners right here done in a little bit of a, bit of a flat black as you can see that it kind of runs along the side sills and we also have a little bit of accent styling here on the side a little bit of aluminum trim right there right up above the explorer name coming here to the mirrors we got body color mirrors with your led turn signals integrated into that one of the new options that we have for 2025 is that you can get a black painted roof this is already black but if you want something like for example a lighter color painted with the black roof it's about a 4900 dollars option which is a little bit expensive for me being just basically paint but that's what force charging for a black color roof for 2025 coming along the side guys basically the same wheel entire package 21 inch wheels 275 in the back coming here to the rear we got the restyled tail lights as you can see they're really nice the way this is kind of as you can see we'll start off on this side here you see we got the led lights kind of extending inwards and we got all this going across the rear hatch along with the explorer name done in black as you can see so that's a pretty cool detail and these are all light up at night um, these are led turn signals as well on this higher end model in the back you can see we got dual exhaust here Really nice little exhaust here in the back with some aluminum accents. And we also got a bit of a lower trim here with, uh, or basically your lower diffuser with your receiver hitch ready to go. Now all these Explorers for 2025 are 25,000 pounds, whether you have the all wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or the V6 or the inline four cylinder engine. This, this one is equipped with the V6 twin turbo. So basically all the same to rating 5,000 pounds for 2025. So coming up here guys, we have your wiper here for the rear we got a little bit of spoiler here with a third brake light integrated into that your rear antenna and this one does have the panoramic center of as part of the ultimate package for this and open up the rear hatch but before we do let's check out the rear key as you can see we got the key here with us pretty much the same key as last year open close remote start and a double click to open up your rear hatch you can see we got those led tail lights they're really nice the way it is and reverse light reverse camera there as well 
Now as you can see, that's pretty nice to have here. We got a really nice interior. We got either a six or seven seater, depending on how either you have the bench seat in the middle or the captain chairs as this one has. So here in the back, we do have a powered third row. As you can see that we press the button right here, you get and the third row comes down automatically there. So if we with the seats down, you have about 46 cubic feet of space. I'll put that information for you guys up on the screen. But as you can see, it's pretty nice, comfortable place. It's got the nice crystal gray leathery interior that this one has. As you can see, there's a pretty nice interior. We got a subwoofer right here. We also got some cup holders on each side here, a little bit more storage space. And we do have a couple of USB ports right there as well for your rear third row passengers. Here on the side, as I mentioned, we got the buttons for your rear seats. We got also an LED light and a 12 volt connection right there. Uh, coming this side, if you had this up, we got a little more storage here, here in the bottom and here also on the sides. We got a little bit of covered uh, little spaces right there, as you can see there. And we also, if we raise this up, if I can, I don't know if I can get my hand on this, but we do have a spare tire underneath here, right here. That's part of this one. I'm trying to get to see if I can get my fingers in there, but I can't. It's a little bit hard to reach. I don't know why they didn't put a little dent in here to get this up, but we do have a spare tire there underneath, guys. I'll put a picture of that if I can. But a pretty nice, pretty amount, pretty good amount of storage for you, as you can see there. And of course, as I mentioned, this one has the captain chairs in the middle. If you want to just raise this seat back, just go ahead and press it up. Comes up pretty quickly, as you can see there. So that's pretty cool to have. And as you can see, really nice interior to this Ford Explorer. Now, this is not the biggest in its segment, but it does give you quite a bit of value. And of course, this one here is rear wheel drive, which is probably only the very, very few that offer a rear wheel drive platform in this segment. But um, there we go, guys. Pretty good amount of space here for this Ford Explorer. Let's go ahead and bring the hash on, which you can do with your key or just press the button right here. You can, see, you can also lock it but you can just press this down and your hatch will come down automatically and there we go and taking a quick look at the power plant of this ford explorer let's go ahead guys and raise the hood easy to come with but we got no hydraulic assistance or no shocks which is kind of shocking to me a little bit that at this price point ford has not added some hydraulic assistance to the hood of this especially this sixty thousand dollar suv and for 2025 we got two power plant choices for this platinum we got these three liter twin turbocharged v6 or we have the 2.3 liter inline four turbo so basically the inline four turbo is your base engine for this platinums and you gotta step up or pay a little more to get this twin turbo v6 so this one here is our three liter twin turbo v6 the ecoboost engine producing 400 horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque this is going to a 10 speed automatic transmission which has been recalibrated for 2025 to give you a bit of smoother shift a little bit of smoother operation this is just a rear wheel drive model as i mentioned four wheel drive is an option for this four explorers for about two thousand dollars so this one doesn't have it but if you want to add it and build yours with it, with a all-wheel drive two thousand dollars will get you the four-wheel drive or the intelligent all-wheel drive as ford calls it as you can see this one we do have a strut tower base here to give a little more strengthening of the chassis it looks still pretty small you know compared to this v6 i mean it's still a pretty small engine in this ford explorer in terms of fuel economy looking at about 18 miles per gallon in the city 25 on the highway i'll put all those figures for you guys up on the stream for you but a pretty good power plant guys pretty good power this is if you want some power this is a proper to get this is the same engine that's in the uh, regular st version of the ford explorer as well but there we go guys here's the engine for this ford explorer platinum let's go ahead and lower our hood it's quite a little hot let's go ahead and get the little stick down and there we go and before we head inside let's go ahead and take a quick look at the sticker of this platinum explorer now I'm going to put this uh, sheet for you guys up on the screen to see it better because I know we have some window reflection. Now here we have the 2025 Ford Explorer Platinum Rear Wheel Drive. Now this one here is done in AG Black with the crystal gray leather interior. This one started about $50,000, excuse me, $51,655. And the only option on this one here is the ultimate package for about $4,600. So basically the total price of this Ford Explorer is $57,865. Let's go ahead and take a look at the right? interior of this Ford Explorer. And as you can see, guys, this is probably one of the biggest changes that Ford has done to this Explorer uh, in terms of quality and design. Now, this one here is uh, the name of this interior is called Crystal Gray Leather Interior. That's one of two colors you can get for the platinum one. The other one is kind of like a Cabernet Red that you can get. I forgot the name of it right now, but I'll put the name for you guys up on the screen there for you. But this is one of the two colors you can get for this platinum one. So I really prefer this one. It's a really nice gray color, kind of kind of bluish tint to it. Really nice the way it looks, depending on how the light hits it. But as you can see, guys, all kinds of far 2025, a lot of more softer materials on the door a lot of more premium materials as well i love this light gray with uh kind of got quilt uh finish to this door as you can see there a bit of aluminum trim plenty of storage space on here as you can see there we also got a little 
of course curtain there to for your rear passengers and a little space here to put your phone or your drink now coming to the interior this one here is equipped with the captain chairs this is the only way you can get this platinum ones with the captain chairs if you want a bench you have to go to the active or i think the st9 you can get it as well but as you can see it's pretty nice interior you can get to this one so you can really nice seating uh the leather for splush these are heated seats here in the back got your grab handle right there as you can see then let's go ahead guys and get inside and take a look at this interior and here we are inside of this Explorer Platinum's interior. As you can see, guys, really awesome interior. We got the sunroof on this one, part of the ultimate package. And uh, as you can see, we got the AC vents up here. We got some lighting. We got a light gray uh, headliner, as you can see. On this one, we got the new interior. As you can see, guys, really nice the way everything is. I really love this gray interior. It really works well. Feels upscale. And definitely, you can feel that there's more quality in this interior. We got a couple of pockets here beneath the seats. And this is a super soft leather. Really nice the way this feels. We also got that same leather here on the center console. Down here, we have your third own AC with the uh, fan controls and your temperature controls a couple of buttons for your heated seats we got a 150 volt home connection and two usb ports and we also got a couple of more cup holders here as you can see there in the middle there for your the center passengers and uh heading here to the back guys you can see we got a really nice interior heading back we got basically ac vents here as well and lights same over here as you can see guys ac vents and some more lighting a little bit of a hook there to put your things and if we head back here you can see we got also some Arm rest of there as well. I love the seats that are really cool. They're really nice the way they are. Really nice what they have done. We have your third row sitting. And here, as you can see, as I mentioned, we have some cup holders in the back, two more USB ports as well, and a little bit of quick storage as well. Uh, you can definitely fit at least maybe three kids in the back, but two adults will definitely fit semi comfortable back here. As you can see, they're really nice the way this. We also got a couple more AC vents, as you can see, there another light there in the middle. But a really nice interior, and this interior, in terms of the grayness and just the way it feels, feels fantastic. And just uh, the way you can tell that definitely that the materials they have used is a bit of a much better quality. But um, there we go, let's go ahead and uh, get to the front. Heading towards the driver's side of this Ford Explorer Platinum, as you can see, guys, we do have also. Uh, comfort access and these mirrors do have blind spot monitoring and they do fold in automatic as well they're powered mirrors folding mirrors so go ahead and guys and get inside and you can see we got basically the same pattern as the rear here in the front of the uh, passenger side we got really soft materials really love this leather with a nice aluminum trim we got controls here for your windows and mirrors a little bit of a darker kind of a little bit of different pattern here as you can see the ones i've uh, done before the active and the st line so it's a little bit different trim but really nice i really love this light gray it really looks really good it makes the uh interior feel upscale we got a speaker here in the bottom guys and coming here guys inside before we get inside we got a lighted explorer name right here on your door sill and of course coming here to the seats really beautiful city here that we have we have really nice leather here pretty of a uh, nice side washing as well on the seats we got the platinum name right there love the pattern and the way they feel really soft touch material on this leather they're heated they're cooled and they're also massaging here in the front as you can see we got the same leather here on the center console and alongside here as well leather cover steering wheel we got a aluminum trim there with some panel black this is a part tilting and telescoping steering wheel same type of materials here on your dash as you can see the really nice leather we got also a soundbar kind of the design here cloth filling material here in this it's kind of similar to the Ford Mustang mach -E, as you can see. They're really nice the way this feels. Much better materials and a much more quality feeling interior to this Explorer's for 2025. But before, before we go on, guys, inside, let's go ahead and check out here. We got controls for your lights here. We're... Uh, hatch right there called controls for the rest of the lights here for your dash and as you can see we got a little easter egg that Ford puts into this Explorer for most of the cars we got the basically the city view of uh Detroit right here on this side which is basically where Ford headquarters is we also got one similar to on the other side I'll put a little video of it that I took before guys that's basically the Chicago skyline of where this Explorers are built in Chicago Illinois but uh, let's go ahead guys and uh, get inside so stepping into the interior of this Ford Explorer, you can definitely tell for anybody who's owned an Explorer before or been inside, when you get into this 2025, you can definitely feel that it's a much more upscale interior. You can feel the quality materials, a little more homey feeling, uh, a lot of much softer touch materials, especially with the leather and just definitely feels so much better put together as well. But before we go on, let's go ahead and turn on this Ford Explorer because obviously it's pretty hot here in Central Florida right now. We got a lot of humidity. We're in between showers and the humidity and heatness is actually pretty much up there. Let's go ahead and press our brake uh put our foot on the brake hit our start button which is right there and get this engine started so you see we got our cluster display heading uh starting up and of course our 13.2 inch updated screen so now that we got some nice ac 
going in this cockpit guys it's going to take a quick review if you want a little more in-depth review guys check out my other reviews i've done two other 2025 pro explorers the active which is the base model and i've done an st line as well if you want to check out those reviews as well in terms of how the interiors differ from this platinum one but really like the interior of this platinum as you can see guys even this all these new explorers have really good visibility especially this one with the panoramic surf that gives you just much more lighting in the interior as i mentioned we got that gray hairline which i'm not a, not a big fan of but uh, it does really look really nice in this interior we got of course a bit of place to put your sunglasses we got consortium for your uh basically your sunroof here or your panoramic sunroof we got of course the shade and controls for your lights we also got home link system there as well and of course we also got some mirrors there as you can see there really nice what this is we got your reverse or your rear view mirror coming down here guys you can see all oh, this is really really beautiful interior what ford has done we got a bit of aluminum trim right there with the explorer name we got the sun bar all this is touch touch materials we got the leather right here we got your glove box right there as you can see there that all extends as well here to the door as you can see really nice the way all this is we got a little bit if you can look in this side guys we have also a little bit of more easter eggs on this side i'll put a little video a little video of it uh, basically all the ford explorer generations are indented here on the side here on the little pocket here which is really really cool feature i'll put that up for you guys on the screen the rest of it guys just a little really nice so we got a little white different design material here uh this is basically a little pouch where you can put your phone to charge you can see we got a wireless charging pad right there you have to get basically uh, the upper trims or the premium trims on the lower models to get this one here. As you can see my phone is charging right there even with a cover. So that's great to have. I'm surprised they didn't put one more here as well. Just to include one. I don't know why they could have done two. Maybe they should make that an option. But even though at least you got one. It's a pretty nice convenient place to put your phone there to charge. Which is really nice. AC bins right up here guys. And right below that are you got your volume control for this uh, 14 speaker bag and offset system that this Explorer comes with. which sounds really nice very nice uh, sounding speaker from megan olsen uh right here to the right we got your automatic start stop we can actually turn that off we also got your parking assistance we got your hazards we got a camera system as well we got a 360 camera along with your co-pilot 360 that's included in this platinum model as you can see we got the 60 camera front and rear sensors front camera there as well and of course if we put this in reverse you also got your rear trajectory lines that turn with your sensors there as well you also got quite a bit of uh things you can do and different cameras there as well as you can see we can kind of point around and give you different camera angles which is pretty cool to have i want to put this back in park next to the uh, camera button we got your traction control and and then we have your auto on or basically your whole button excuse me there that's basically the last button here on the console now basically going to the technology that this ford explorer has we'll start up here guys we go to your 12.3 cluster screen We're very nice kind of similar to what the ford f-150 gives you we got a really nice screen as you can see there and i'm gonna put this a little closer i'm gonna actually put the stream a little bit up you see guys we got different minutes you can do yes i know my door is ajar tire pressures all thanks to configurations you can do on this screen there as well and one of the things you can do with great which is new for 2025 you can put it on map view and that's going to give you a view and we'll put that again basically you're going to give you your map over here in the middle screen or your cluster which is really cool thing to have you can just, just bring that up back to your regular instrumentation as you can see there which is really nice call me all things you can kind of change your driver assistance all the things you want to display on this uh system which is really awesome to have and if you guys look just a little bit bottom here we got the little sensors here that is basically your basically that kind of senses you for ford's new uh availability of ford's uh blue cruise for 2025 for this Ford explorers that basically comes with this for explorers you get a 90 day trial i think in this plan you might get six months but i'm not sure i'll put that information for you guys up on the screen but in usually normally you get 90 days of free trial for this ford blue cruise after that you can go to a monthly subscription or a user subscription which i think is about 700 dollars give or take uh don't quote me on that but that's what basically gives it a great amount a great thing to have of course if you want autonomous driving in certain areas there's a lot of areas that are popping up more and more each year for ford that you can do and use your ford blue cruise the only model you cannot get this ford blue cruise is in the a base active that's the only model you cannot get this for the blue cruise but other than that guys switching over to the new ford digital experience we have a 13.2 inch digital screen here as you can see guys really nice infotainment screen that uses google maps so if you go guys here you can see we got all of google maps which you can do we can just go and pop up if you want to search for restaurants or grocery stores really cool to have it gives you the closest really awesome feature to have now you can see we got a p1 what this new ford digital experience gives you is basically more personalization in terms of every time i 
new driver comes in or even a passenger you can put your personal settings in terms of radio stations pandora uh your home settings anything you want to have in terms of uh any apps or you want to favorite movies you can do that as well on this ford explorer now you can see guys we got a different widget here for your radio you can do the radio we got right now of course sunday radio going on right now all right if we go back to home uh, we also got basically out of phone and if we can go back here guys to the car settings we got ambient lighting as well we got new ambient lighting for 2025 we got seven settings if we press the button we got of course your colors you can choose right there as you can see there which is a pretty cool feature to have back this button we got the seats as you can see we do can do also massage on the seats as well and timing uh hill descent we got all kinds of things you can do valet mo uh which is really cool to have also uh let's go back we don't need it uh setups as well guys settings all things you can do sound bluetooth all the things you can do we also got uh the 5g network that also included in this ford explorer so 2025 similar to the super duties that you can connect up to 10 devices on this wi-fi for this uh, ford explorer which is really cool to have functions you got all kinds of things you can do vehicle status and of course we go back here we got all your little things you can do maps play store we also got uh, android apple android auto apple carplay all the things you can connect as well as you can see guys serious radio all the things you do and you can also watch youtube videos here as you can see there uh pretty cool to have of course you got to connect it to a device but really awesome to have you can play movies but you have to be in park in order to see either search the web watch a movie or watch youtube so it's a really awesome pleasure to have guys i'm still learning it but you got a, quite a bit of new things you can do uh, really awesome to have all these settings here uh for did a really good job introducing this system i'm sure this is going to kind of cascade down to other models of ford in the coming years but really awesome system one of the things i really don't like about the system is you get all the basically all your your basically your dual sony ac controls here on the screen we have no more physical buttons as well but that's kind of that's the way it is but yeah you have to kind of go here we got the cool seats as well we got cool and heated seats as i mentioned we're on seat one you can see you have to kind of go through all the settings here uh to get here's your basically your button for your fan control and all things so yeah you gotta kind of get used to it that's kind of deter if you want to use just a button but i wish they would have used buttons but i guess they're not using the buttons anymore for the ac controls as you can see they're pretty pretty simple to use as well and going down here to the central console as you can see guys we have a little bit more storage right here if we press a little button we get that this is little tray goes up little door we got a couple of more usb ports right there and a 12 port connection a little more storage right there because quite a bit deep there as you can see there uh i believe in total we got about eight usb ports and three 12 port connections if i'm correct in this new ford explorer so i'm gonna put actually that, put that down now of course I, I don't i'm not a big fan of the piano black trim but that's basically what ford has done as you can see we got a couple of cup holders here we got your little dial for your gears parking brake and of course you got your drive modes uh we got basically if you go to drive modes we got echo we got sport we got tow and haul uh going back right we got normal we got slippery and we also got trail which is kind of interesting this is light off trailing because obviously it doesn't have any four wheel drive so we're going to just put that it gives you a bit of kind of a light road assistance but if we go back we can actually put it first in the door, but before we close the door let's go ahead and we can hear this twin turbo v6 a little bit it sounds really nice you can hear a little bit of a blow off valve there which is pretty cool let's go ahead and close the door i love all this little trim here that looks really good so ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and go out on a test let's go ahead and put our transmission in reverse first and check out the camera as you can see guys we got the reverse camera with trajectory lines and we also got some sensors there as well you hear that right now as you can see there it's pretty cool and we got your 360 degree camera and you can also turn off your sensors there as well go ahead guys and put it in drive and go forward and check out how this platinum explorer with the v6 twin turbo drives now of course this model is uh what i've noticed of you know, driving the active and the st9 the explorer has gone definitely more and more refined it feels very easy to drive uh this leather this leather cover steering wheel feels fantastic it's not perforated as in the one in the st line or the st but this is more of a soft touch leather feeling material but feels great in your hands so i mentioned that tilt tilt and telescope and steering wheel is powered we got your powerful the mirrors there as well if i didn't mention that really nice the way it is this this uh, screen is not really in your line of vision it's really sits low the ford did a good job because i remember last year's model the uh basically the vertical screen really wasn't a good design in terms of we got it might have a little bit of rain coming guys i uh, apologize for that but that's just a typical florida summertime uh, we had a couple of days that was a little lower in temperature or at least lower in humidity but the humidity is back today but going back here guys really nice really soft this thing feels really much refined quieter and this is the first time i'm driving the v6 in this 2025 models we are in sport mode so it's going to hold our gear a little bit longer and gives a little bit quicker throttle response 
let's go ahead and turn here guys you can see really nice that feels pretty light to be honest uh really good response from the transmission which as i mentioned has been recalibrated so it gives a little bit quicker shifts much more shifts to a more seamless operation it doesn't gear hunt as much as the older one uh, but uh, it's quite nice and I want to give it just a little bit of being serious to hear the acceleration We are in sport mode. Let's go ahead and give a little bit of gas guys here Yeah, she's got some good power wow. Yeah, my Florinic is always it's, it's only it's only got five miles So but man, she just got some good power and I can tell the uh, Ford 360 is already kind of steering me back into the lane It's got you know kind of uh, we call lane assist so it really puts you back in the lane <laughs> but uh it feels good the suspension is very it's a little bit on the firmer side but it's very compliant very soft so, i mean it's got a good ride it's not by any means bouncy or harsh by any means really afforded a good job especially in this upper trim being the platinum one they have to kind of maybe tune the springs a little bit for comfort but as well as for a little bit of i would say not performance but a little bit more sporting nature in terms of the suspension tuning but really good job i really love this interior i think ford did a really good job in terms of all the material for so much warmer uh, much more upscale definitely for sure let's go ahead and go now this being all in the rear wheel drive i'm sure you can do some nice drifting action on this thing but you can see guys this thing just goes super smooth shifts good power it's got some good power this engine I love this twin turbo v6 this three liter engine so as you know this engine is used in the uh, bronco raptor it's used also in the ranger raptor and uh great engine this has got good power good power good torque as well nice torque curve and uh this recalibrated 10 speed really feels fantastic as well if you go back and switch a mode just go back and go to basically normal mode relax the throttle a little bit and give you much more smoother shift and kind of give you a better fuel economy and just more of a cruising type of uh, nature but it really feels good this suspension is i like it i like the way it feels it's not firm firm and it's not like soft i'm sorry guys if you hear that little noise it's my plate here next to me uh it has got that basically really nice kind of a bmw-ish i would say very it's nice and firm but it's also very compliant as well and it gives you i mean the steering is pretty direct not a lot of feeling pretty pretty numb i'll be honest but it does have a pretty directness to it especially with this 21 inch wheels with 275 millimeter tires and i know the ford lane assist is going crazy on me here <laughs> but uh yeah it really feels great as well everything's here your hands as well all your uh controls here are really available here as you can see it's kind of get used to it kind of your ac controls being on the on the monitor i don't crazy about that but i guess you get used to it uh, but everything else your lcd screen is really nice and clear as well as a 13.2 inch screen uh, and you can see it's a little darker because obviously it's going to be raining so it's got cloudy but uh we got your wipers which are really nice and sunny really easy to operate uh yeah really good i mean this much more refined and i apologize if you hear that noise because the little vibration duration my you might hear that on camera that's my plate uh let's go here get to the left but uh yeah let me know what you guys think of this ford explorer i love this black this ak black with this light gray leather it really looks good really pops uh wow ford did a really good job in terms of the materials i'm the only giving you two colors i wish to give you a little more like a maybe like a beige or like a saddle brown would be fantastic as well but of course they have no longer the king ranch model that's definitely gone and they said that's gonna just leave it for trucks uh they mentioned that they might bring back the timberline edition as well uh that was the off-road version of this ford explorer i think they might i don't think they're gonna call it tremor as one of my colleagues said they might call it tremor or timberline i think they're probably gonna stick with the timberline being that the tremor is more for the trucks that's the same thing in the king ranch but super smooth transmission guys super smooth ships i can barely feel the ships uh this thing is not gear hunting as much as it used to be or kind of just kind of going back and forth very smooth operation to the engine and transmission uh yeah this is a, definitely a much more refined quieter ford explorer for 2025 especially in this platinum model so smooth buttery smooth car great ride very little windows we got some wind outside right now because of the storm but uh, such a smooth operation in this ford explorer really nice the way it feels yeah very impressive how the ride is how everything is much more refined interior the way it feels wow really impressive guys let me know what you guys think of this 2025 ford explorer in terms of the looks the interior uh being that this ford explorer is about what did i mention fifty seven thousand dollars for this one uh it's not bad obviously there's a lot of competition in this segment uh 
with the v twin turbo v6 and the sport d2 dispension i think this is probably one of the more sportier powerful versions in this segment of course a lot of them have v6s and then turbos hybrid now ford did also go did not offer a hybrid the only hybrid they're offering for 2025 is to the police fleet or governmental agencies that's it they didn't they decided not to offer the hybrid version anymore for public which is kind of interesting because obviously ford or the competition offers quite a bit of hybrid versions of it i don't know why maybe ford offered you know i don't know maybe they updated the four center engine which is pretty good in terms of fuel economy and not as good as uh course not as bad as this one is but this one's got the power it's got the sporting to it i really love this model this is a really cool interior especially with the black and this platinum one really really goes you know the theme of it just really works nobody coming we got a stop sign there but i guess coming into conclusion uh i really like this explorer quite a bit i really liked them before and this is just a more refined version of you now basically an up basically a mid cycle refresh but definitely they've done a really good job in making this a much better SUV for sure good power good towing ability a lot of good interior as well love this interior and the ergonomics are really good in this and of course of course of course the technology that ford's now including in this explorer but let me know guys Thank you very much for watching if you made it this far into the video let me know your thoughts on this 25 ford explorer uh if anybody's owned a former one before let me know how has it been i think this is a pretty reliable power plant this twin turbo v6 just have to do a good maintenance on them as well a lot of people might not maintain them as well and then they bitch about not being a good car but let me know guys what you guys think let's put this in reverse go back to our driving spot you can see the reverse camera really works well and really nice clear graphics to the camera but there we go guys put it back in park 2025 ford explorer platinum thank you very much for watching if you guys like the video please hit the subscribe button leave me a like leave me a comment i really appreciate it have a fantastic afternoon evening or day wherever you are and we'll see you in the next video take care Bye bye